love, self-sacrifice, virtue, empowering the vulnerable, giving the voiceless a voice, standing up for our neighborhoods, even when it is hard. This is what political leadership is, and it is for these things that we are gathered here today on the steps of City Hall. My name is Jennifer Rajkumar, and I am running for City Council in District 1. It is the people standing here with me today that inspired me to stand up. Standing with me here today is Georgette Fleischer of Soho, one of the bravest women I know, who once said to me, I will not give in to the cynicism that one suit is as good as another. Standing with me is David Neves, who fights for affordable housing on the Lower East Side. Yeah. 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 Standing with me is Wendy Chung, her parents were garment workers from China. She worked hard and attended one of the nation's best colleges, and now I advocate with her for the working class in Chinatown. It is the people standing here that inspire me. And it is for them that I am running for city council in District 1. I am standing here today for the 31 Chinese restaurant workers at Jing Fong. Each restaurant worker contributed $25 to this campaign and said, Jennifer, we know that you will fight for affordable housing and fair wages. I am standing here for the artists who built Soho decades ago and who continue to do so. And I am standing here for the girls growing up in public housing who believe that they can be present. that my parents are here today too. <laughs> my parents immigrated to this country with just $300, one suitcase, and three. My parents raised me to believe that the opportunity they were given by this country was the opportunity that everyone should have. And they told me to whom much is given, much is expected. To keep this promise, I decided to dedicate my life to social justice. I became a civil rights lawyer, where I litigated on behalf of the vulnerable, domestic violence victims, the working class, and those suffering discrimination. I stood with my clients during some of the hardest fights of their lives. And to keep this promise, I went to Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, where I advocated for the middle class families during the making of Obamacare. And to keep this promise, I became your neighborhood's elected district leader, serving the local community on transportation, affordable housing, school overcrowding, and the fights affecting your neighborhoods. It is at this very spot that I decided to run for council. Just recently, NYU plan to expand 2 million square feet into our beloved Greenwich Village. And I came here with 100 villagers, some of whom are here today, to stand up for our community. We were kicked out of City Hall that day. We were not listened to, as the council nearly unanimously voted in favor of the Gargantuan expansion into the village. We wanted to preserve the historic Seaport District 
ensure its future in the face of large development and preserve a world-class food market. The people came together and labored for years to find a good plan for the future of the South Street Seaport. But in the end, the people were not listened to by the council. Their voices were excluded. And that is also what brings me here today. Yeah. We need a strong advocate in council who always stands up for us and always puts the people first. Yeah. And on the Lower East Side, the threats of luxury housing being built on NYCHA land, fears abound. The fate of the community is uncertain. Constituents are concerned about their open space, their homes, if their children will still be able to live there. Will we be displaced, they wonder. What about us? To the people of LaGuardia and Smith Houses, please know, I am running to stand up for you. Yeah. Right now, what we currently have in council is a top-down approach. Under this top-down approach, the council member goes into the room where the real estate are outside interests. Closes the door, makes a deal, and shuts the people out. Exactly. I am going to replace that top-down approach with bottom-up leadership. Yeah. Bottom-up leadership means I lead from the people, not from outside interests. Bottom-up leadership means the people participate in all decisions the council makes. I will bring inclusive, bottom-up leadership to all aspects of the council. When it is time to distribute the council's discretionary funding, I will implement the new and groundbreaking participatory budgeting model, where people in the district can vote on where they want the funds spent. Hey. I will lead from the people, including their voices in the process, and fighting for them, and only them, every step of the way. Bottom-up leadership is how I have already served you as your district leader. I am the girl always on your corner, the district leader asking, what can I do for you in the neighborhood? Because I believe government should be on your corner, with the people. So this is what we are going to do in this campaign. Top-down approach to the council, bottom-up leadership. We are going to spread this message from the west side to the east side. So, to my Hispanic brothers and sisters on the lower east side, un saludo a la comunidad hispana. Mi nombre es Jennifer. Y mi emblema es unir a la minoría hacia la mayoría. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> to my community in Chinatown, Jin Ji Chi Ao, Wa Wa Fao Doi. To my revered and respected Jewish community, as the Yiddish and Hebrew concept of social justice goes, Tikkun Olam. Let's repair the world together. Now, I have told you what I think. But I need to know what you think. Would you rather have leadership from the top down or the bottom up? Bottom up! In Soho, would you rather have leadership from the top down or the bottom up? Bottom up! In Washington Square Village, would you rather have leadership from the top down or the bottom up? Bottom up! And in Chinatown, would you rather have leadership from the top down or the bottom up? Bottom up! Our message is clear. It is time to bring bottom up, inclusive, participatory democracy to lower Manhattan. We can do this together, spreading the message neighbor to neighbor, voter to voter, across all our neighborhoods, all the way to the ballot box on Tuesday, September 10th. Thank you so much. Yay!